So if you can give us just a short description who's Donjo outside of Berg when she's with friends, with family, uh, what type of person are you? Um, I'm a very outgoing person. I absolutely love people. I love connecting with people. I'd say that I'm a very introspective human being. I like to delve deep into the meaning of life and why we're here. And I absolutely love exploring myself through sound and music. And music's always been a part of my life. I know that uh, you said you wanted to veer away from that, but it really is like the center of my universe. And it's all I think about. I sleep, eat, breathe music. In your terms, which challenges did you face coming up in the entertainment industry? I think the biggest challenge that I face I, like any artist faces is not knowing yourself you know I think everything becomes so much easier your pathway becomes so much more clear in terms of executing on your vision when you understand who you are what your brand is how to consolidate it how to tell your story because the, at the end of the day every artist who's become successful has created a brand out of their their name out of their face out of their character out of their music their sound all of it ties into one another and it's difficult to do that if you if you don't understand what that is and if you haven't had a clear vision i think that's the the point i was trying to get to it's taken me a long time to get to this point where i really understand where i'm going and kind of aligning everything to get there you know so uh, you mix two different genres, a piano and pop. So that creativity, where does it, where does it come from, having to mix a piano and with pop? I think um, just my love for pop music. Um, Justin Bieber is one of my idols in terms of how he sonically fuses trap music with pop music. Um, and when I heard the Amapiano sound, I absolutely loved it, but it also reminded me in terms of its structure a far more of house than it does of like a mainstream pop song. And so I wanted to create a fusion between the two where it's very um, punchy, it grabs you, the hook comes in soon, and yeah, it's more mainstream than um, what Amapiano has um, previously been in the past. I'm not saying I'm the only person doing this. There's probably a lot of people out there doing it already. Um, it's just, yeah, when I was um, trying to communicate to my producer exactly what kind of sound I wanted, those are the two kind of sounds that I wanted to fuse together. Wow, amazing. No one would have actually thought about it, just combining two giant views and making a bang of music. <laughs> it's not everyone's satisfaction. I'm gonna mix that pop and R and B. Let's see how it works. But you're doing it. You're doing it. Mixing on a piano and pop is it is amazing. In terms of the inspiration behind the track, it was. I always, I've always loved the phrase, Sia Jaiva, I Gogo. You know, like if I see someone jamming hard, I'm like, I always say that, that saying, and then they're like, oh, how do you know that saying? That's so funny. Because um, it's like when the cats are away, the mice will play, you know? Um, mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I came up with a hook for it and I sent it to a bunch of my friends who do Ama Piano and none of them used the idea. So I was like, well, why don't I just use it myself? And then I laid it down with my producer and I was like, wow, I found a sound like this is epic. And a lot of other songs have been born from that, that similar structure of, of creating the music. Just asking, uh, are you, are you, did, you, did you learn how to dance or you just, it was something that you just saw, like, Isha, I like this, let me try and test it out. Or did you have to go for dance classes, as someone to teach you? Yeah, so uh, the new video that we're shooting tomorrow for the next single is called Gwenza Galani. And I got um, the assistance from Costa Titch's lead dancer. His name's Angelo. And his whole team of dancers, they are amazing human beings. I actually just did, we, we finished up rehearsals now for tomorrow. Um, so they've taught me a lot about movement and how to um, position my body to make, make out like I know how to dance, but I don't actually really know how to dance. So the best part about your job, what do you mostly enjoy about doing music? connecting with other artists and really just like when I, when I hear a beat and then I sing a melody and then I come up with a concept for the lyrics and then you know someone has an idea and this one has an idea and it's like when you hear it all come together at the end it's like the most magical feeling in the whole world and then what it does is it encapsulates a moment in time and so every time I listen to that song it goes back to that moment in time where I was creating it and I feel like 
I'm evolving so much in terms of like or musically and as an artist and and in terms of my own being and self you know um that it's it's amazing to listen to how much further along the line i am from when i put when i first created sia jiva because um that tra track was created over a year ago so a lot a lot's gone into <clears throat> a lot of thoughts gone into like the process um here out you know what's going to be rolling on after the, this track oh, how was the reaction at home when you saw the notes guys i'm gonna do music or they just saw you on screen like i go what is that doing on our screen because <laughs> you know, parents got this thing about entertainment industry like Ish, this industry why didn't you become a, a dancer my mom is very supportive of me you know like I've, I've i've been singing since i was a child um I absolutely love it you know like i said it's the center of my universe and i really mean that like i used to sit when i was a child in the bathtub and sing um the the national anthem to myself for like three hours and i used to get like so emotional about it but like that's that's how deeply frequency touches me and you know what not many people have the the gift to be able to sing and the fact that i do i don't want to waste it you know it's such a, a a deep form of expression to be able to have a feeling and to embody that through sound um so i feel very privileged to have this talent um and you know like obviously you, everyone will hear the commercial side of sia jiva and think that's okay well i'm just trying to do one kind of thing but I know I know myself and I know how I am and who I am and I know that this is just the start of my journey because um I'm I'm multi-talented in terms of my vocal range you know I can sing anywhere from pop the I'm a piano kind of stuff or I can sing ballads um but there is something about Zulu music that absolutely kicks my ass I just love it so much it's like like when I listen to Mlindo the vocalist I don't know what he's saying but his vocals like hit me deep inside my soul you know um so this yeah I'm, i just feel very privileged to be able to um learn about zulu culture and the zulu language through sound and through music and i feel like a lot of people will feel the same as me when they when they jump on <clears throat> to the sound you know and and the journey that i'm on the mission that i'm on